this visual art thing is something uh, I wanted to do seriously ever since the second grade. I don't have it at all. I just, I just never stop. Uh, traditionally, I, uh, you know, you draw, you draw, you paint, <laughs> and you make prints, you do sculpture. Um, but that's, that process is uh, very labor intensive because it's hard to change to make a blank sheet of paper into magic and the whole process that you, that you have to go through to do it. <clears throat> photography was something that I used just to record my paintings. I never really read need for photography at all. But I hung around with a lot of photographers. Um, then this digital thing came up. I started with uh, digital um, printmaking. I found out you can take an image from a, uh, uh, a Xerox image and you can transfer that image to a plate or a stone. So that means I can do a photo lit or etching. And I started out that way, and eventually um, I just became a lot more intrigued with the, the whole digital process by itself, just let the process, let it just be. But then I got, that, that made me check out photography again. And I found out what I was doing in the long run, I was just collecting images, uh, like for a collage I was going to put together. Um, and in the computer, you can do that. Not necessarily quick and fast, but you can make changes quick and fast. If you ever did a drawing and you made the wrong stroke, it's hard to change that sucker. You know, you're not going to just throw it away. You know, <laughs> one of my uh, favorite painters, I call him the last of the museum guards, Francis Bacon, he said, uh, most of his best pieces are in the trash. But he just went too far. <laughs> but when you deal with um, the computer, you can stop if you record uh, your, your, your steps. I was talking to another photographer, um, Charles Session, and uh, he was an analog photographer, regular, you know, but he made the switch to digital. And I asked him, uh, why did you do it? He said, just got lazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he got tired of waiting on the right time of day to take the picture. So he started to take these pieces and put them together in Photoshop. You know, it's, 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 it's a nice way of working, you know. Um, but you still have to make the magic. And you might start out with an idea, but don't be too surprised if you end up with something else. Mm -hmm. And most of the pieces I work on are, are usually start from the piece I just finished and usually end up with a series of pieces. But you can never predict how it's going to look. Because if it worked one time, you think you can just try it, try it again, it doesn't work. But then you have to add a new element. Um, the new element I'm working with right now is these. Uh, like this young lady by making sun shadows. And we were in the studio and I had the skylight. And a certain time of day, the skylight was on the floor. So she was there, she said, what are we doing today? Come on, you got me all, I was painting on me, I'm naked and stuff, what are we gonna do? <laughs> I said, okay, we're gonna make sun shadows, you know? <laughs> uh, and that's what we did. I, I, did, I started doing a lot of them. And uh, then when I put the, the what we're making, the shadows in a circle, which goes back to this Aboriginal thing about dream time and the water hole. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything just seemed to just come together. You know? um, as most of you can tell, I usually work with women. Uh, uh, I don't know why I have it. look good. <laughs> uh, but the pressure is on to do some men. <laughs> yeah, uh, and I realized that. Like, mm -hmm. At my age, you know, mm -hmm, I like these young guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm having fun. I'm having a lot of fun. And if it ain't, it ain't fun, it ain't worth it. It's not worth doing. Um, like I said, making the magic. The magic comes from when you put the right two things together and you, and you, you know when it's there. And uh, the deal is not to tickle it to death. Like we have a tendency when we paint. And when you draw, you just tickle something to death. You tickle all those whole life out of the piece. Uh, I was talking to one fellow uh, one time. He said, you got to have enough, enough nerve to stop when you feel it's right. 
even though it's not looking like what you want it to be, you stop and move on to the next piece. And that's how you get your, your production up. Uh, you can always make anything better, but stop. You know, it's, like, it's almost like cooking. When you get something, you're cooking something. Mm -hmm. Taste just, oh, what if I add just a little bit, nothing, you add a little bit of too much of everything. It don't taste like anything because you didn't have the nerve to stop. Mm -hmm. You know, you just stop and move mm -hmm. on. You know. um, most of my work are, are, are influenced by a little bit of history, uh, a little bit of storytelling. The story not, might not be really true. Um, I just made them up. Mm -hmm. you know, why not? I can't make up stories. I can make up rituals. Uh, other people can't. Don't tell me I can't make them up. You know, so I, I, I invent them. A lot of times the stories come from after the piece is finished. Once the piece is finished, I might know what the piece is about. Sometimes it takes my wife to come back and tell me what the piece is about. Yeah. I don't know. I'm much more interested in the image, making the image and uh, <clears throat> grabbing your brain. Uh, one of my biggest pleasures when I go to a show, especially a show of my work, is to have people really looking at the work. You know, that, that really makes me feel good. That means I got you. I, was, uh, I gave a talk in um, Morocco. And uh, I got into the talk. The young lady was crying. Gotcha. You know, I got it. You know, to, to move people is very important to make you feel. If I don't feel anything, I know you're in. But uh, like I said, most of your pieces come together about 4 o'clock in the morning. And I drink champagne. <laughs> <laughs> And most you don't. So we're going to, we captured some footage at the opening reception. <laughs>
There's a trance, which is here. The poem is Gathering of Women. The laying on of stone, the uh, poem by the same title, by Carol, of course. The spirit, uh, demons, is the title of the poem. <laughs> 